Hi everyone. Um, today's reading is going to be who do they think you are? So you've got three little animals. There's a white fox wolfy thing. There's a metal rabbit or there's the sea lion. I was going to say seal, but I think it's a sea lion. Let's see if we just want to choose one. And we'll go straight into it. Okay, so number one, number two, number three. Let's take number one. So, okay. So these cards are really nice, but they come out sometimes too stuck together. So you overall physically what you look like emotionally how they perceive you hints about your job and career this may be linked to number four which is a little your position in life where you are you know perhaps you're married or with lots of friends that sort of type of thing um, are they nervous around you are they interested in you and what will happen next right so okay they see you as somebody at the moment who they have argued with or who they see somebody quite feisty somebody who to me is an Aries type of feel that likes an argument that um, is quite full-on quite cutting or has been quite cutting at times so to me that speaks of something that's gone on between you recently there have been some sharp words some something that may have upset the other person you may have done or that you <coughs> something that's happened between you how they see you physically my first thought when i pulled this pulled this card oh no i didn't pull the card when i turned the card around was that somebody who's quite slight in build somebody who's got um quick movements a thinner face somebody who's quite almost like quite sweet looking um younger than their years paler than the rest of the family somebody who moves their hands when they talk a lot somebody who talks quite fluent fluently is quite eloquent and uh, somebody who communicates well physically i'm just thinking small or slim or something about you that gives you the appearance of being quite is elvish or elvish <laughs> one or the other just somebody quite communicative quite sweet quite open quite talkative but quite and i'm not going to say cutting because that's coming up from up there but somebody who says it as it is somebody who when they're talking about something says exactly what they're thinking Somebody who likes to read, somebody who um, is quite elegant, moves well, talks well, dresses well. And the appeal is it's not like somebody who's in your face, it's somebody who you tend to like after you've been watching them for a while. Um, one of those pe people who are quite intriguing, who you want to know more about. Somebody who grabs your attention and you start to think about them, try, you start to wonder about them, want to know a little bit more about them. Like a puzzle that you're unwrapping bits at a time. Emotionally how they see you. Hi everyone. These two tend to go together. Emotionally they see you as somebody who does enjoy a good argument. Somebody who doesn't let things flow, which could be in a positive sense, as in you don't let things flow as you make life quite exciting. Um, you only know the answer to this, or, or they might too. Or somebody who likes to have a fight and cause a bit of a fight is quite feisty and con contentious. You know, somebody who says something just to see the reaction of somebody else, who riles somebody up, maybe tests them, um, and that might have gone a little bit too far. That's how they see you. But somebody who's always around people, somebody who likes people around them, likes to talk, likes to communicate, and um, doesn't like to spend too much time on their own. Mm, I'm not sure about that bit. They might, 
I can't tell yet. I mean, you might want to spend time on your own, but equally, it would be equal. You like to be out and talk to people. If you're on your own, you still like to communicate. Right, and as a job, I would say that you do something that reaches a lot of people or you move around a lot. You deal with lots of different types of people and you perhaps, your work spans over larger distances. So you're reaching out to people in some way or other, whether it's traveling, whether it's writing something, um, it could be like studying something like languages, um, just something where you are pulling in things from a, a distance away or moving out to people and on a larger scale, internet, um, distributing things, and that's how they see you. Somebody who's moving around a lot and somebody who's in touch with, who's not very small-minded, their job isn't small-minded, where you're looking at details, it'd be something where you're reaching out further, stretching yourself, seeing how different things work. I can't quite think of particular examples there, apart from the ones I've given you. Um, your position in life. They're, these two go quite nicely together. So although they see you as quite a handful, I would say that they see you as a person in your life moving forwards, expanding, things getting better, the positive things coming into your life, and that's the way that they perceive you, which probably counteracts the fact that you probably you may have fallen out or you may have had some sort of fight or they've seen you in some sort of situation where they've thought, oh, she's quite feisty. Because you might actually appear, oh, this is like a strange night of ones to me because he's, he looks quite a feisty dolphin <laughs> dolphin diver there so it's a mixture i reckon you're probably a bit of both like to read like to sit at home on your own like to do things on your own and then you like to one or the other then you're with people doing things um being louder than they perhaps have seen you they've probably seen both sides of you but with the world and fortune here they see that you are probably going places or doing something positive with yourself if you're not doing it yet they can see you making the steps reaching out further perhaps you'll travel you'll want to travel abroad perhaps you're going abroad we're going abroad in the summer who knows what we're doing now um but they can see that that's how they perceive you moving forward a big person of doing big things okay do they get nervous around you no they don't get nervous around you. They feel quite at ease, at ba at balanced. Um, either they're not that getting that close to you that you're making them feel nervous or they're quite balanced in themselves already. So when they're with you, they're quite on an even keel. They're not dropping things or talking rubbish or anything like that. They're quite on an even keel with you. Are they interested in you? Yes, they are interested in you. They are they are interested in you, but it's not going to be flying in to tell you so, or that if you know them already, what they're doing to show that they're interested is they are providing practically for you, or they are making small steps towards you to show that they like you, giving you things. Can I help you with this? Can I do this? Or you know, tiny things that if you know them, perhaps in work, and um, they will offer to do things. Just be generally quite kind and giving in practical small ways. So you might know this person for something that they've done for you, but they won't be very showy with it. It'll be so little bits that they've given you that have shown they've liked you. Quite an earth, This is an earth, but there's quite an earthy energy. The fact these two together show somebody who's quite calm, quite giving, um, and almost the calm compared to your the way that you're expanding yourself and the way that you probably come across to them. I'm not saying you are any of these things. It might just have been one particular incident they perceived you as being feisty or having a bit of fire in you. Although this is air, they can see that you've got a little bit of fire in you. Okay, what's going to happen next? There's going to be some sort of situation. If that hasn't happened already, I know it said next, where... Either you walk away or they walk away. Either you are planning to go abroad and they know this. 
or one of you walks away from the situation. Don't quite know why. I put a few extra cards on that, see if it tells me some something else. Something more. <laughs> Probably something else would be nicer, but let's see if there's something more. Okay. I think that they are going to, I, I get the feeling that they are going to move away from the situation. They can see you moving forward and they have, they like to feel balanced. They like to feel things are calm and equal and fair and organized. And I can't think of the correct word where they feel as if they're an even keel, but they have become slightly obsessed with you. I would guess uh, there's a slight obsession with you and they are, it's not feeling pleasant to them. And so what they're going to do, and my guess, is they're going to sort of retract a little bit. Right, my advice to you on this situation would be... This to me seems a very young energy. To me, it seems as if somebody, you are, when you're moving out of home or you're moving out of a situation, could be studying and you're just planning your summer ahead. And I know things have gone to pot at the moment, but it's that, that exciting feeling. But somebody who's quite feisty, who enjoys partying, who's looking forward to um, meeting friends, going out somewhere, perhaps we're gonna travel together. I think that's the trouble with these cards. Everything looks like a party. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. Advice for these, I'll put it over here. Let's move this back upside down. Right, for you, for advice, there isn't much you can do about this situation because it's them that are dealing with the problem. If anything, you need to be stable, you need to work with them, you need to not show this part that might be frightening them, <laughs> frighten them a little bit and just work slowly towards them. So if you can meet them halfway, if you're working towards them and they're being more down to earth, more practical, they're being calmer, um, it will make them feel more at home. So if you could perhaps pull on that, that part of yourself is a little bit more grounded, then that will probably, if that's what you want, that would probably make the situation a little clearer to them, make them feel a little bit less anxious. There's not much you can do about whatever. You will know what's happened. There's not part from be very practical. Take small steps. Calm, calm the energy down. Whatever you're doing, whatever's going on in your life, whether it's you, I've got a feeling it's them that are moving away. Whether these suggest that you might be moving away, I don't really know. There, that if that situation is there is movement away from this person by you, you still looks to me like you're still going to have to do it, and there's nothing you can do about it. If it's them moving away. Sorry, if it, yes, if it's you moving away, I'm just about to say that they are feeling that they can't control it and they, they've got strong feelings for you and it's making them feel a bit turned upside down. If it's them moving away, you just there's nothing you can do about that. You've just got to make small steps and just be there for them. Okay, right, I'm going to stop there. I hope that helps. If it does help, um, can you leave some comments or like or subscribe? Um, thank you very much. Hi, num hi number twos. Um, I'm hoping that you are the metal rabbit. If not, I've mucked up the numbers of the animals, but no, I think you are. Right. <laughs> I just called you number twos. Um, so that's very childish. These cards sometimes come out in twos. Number twos. Um, you, physically what you look like, emotionally how they perceive you, or well, that's physically how they perceive you when you actually look like that. Um, your job, your career, your position in life, which will give you more information. Basically it's like if you're married or um, 
um, I don't know, it will that will come, become clearer when you look at it. Um, do they get nervous around you? Are they interested in you? And what will happen next between you? Okay, so this is how they perceive you rather than how you actually are. But this is you at the moment. Okay, you are somebody who's moving away from a situation. This isn't so much how they perceive you. This is probably how you are in the relationship about the, with, the, with the person that you're asking about. So you have decided that to move away. And this could be physically move away, as in you might be forced to, to be separate at the moment just because of the way things are. Or um, you could have had um, some sort of misunderstanding and separated from each other. Or you can just basically feel that they're, they're a long way away from you now. <clears throat> now, this is how they see you. Physically, how they see you is somebody who is exciting, who is fast moving, who talks a lot, who talks fast, who is fun to be with. Um, somebody who comes into a room and all eyes are on that person because they are fun, because they are funny. Um, and because they know how to communicate properly, as in they communicate in a way that grabs everybody's attention. So you're probably the light of the soul of the party. And what if you're not, that's how they see you. They see you as somebody who everybody wants to listen to, who everybody, um, when you're with people, they're all laughing with you, not at you, with you. And that's how they perceive you. They see you as somebody fun. They see you as somebody who is extremely good at saying what they want, of being direct, of um, being direct is the, probably the best way to say it. When you want something, you are going to be somebody who says it straight away. Somebody who, in a gen, I'm not saying it's going to be in an aggressive way, but in some way, even if you're laughing when you're saying it, you get what you want by the way that you talk. Somebody who's got a lot of energy is quite exciting. I said this already, fun to be with. Emotionally, they see you as a very gentle, um, almost childlike and open. So they probably see you as quite vulnerable. They probably see you as almost as if you need to be um, protected in a way. Because these two together, to me, make me think of somebody who is open and giving and who not through being gullible but who people can take advantage of because you are quite open and childlike and people might see you as that and think they can take advantage of you but it's just the way that you are you just are one of those one of those people that even if it's in a very gentle way in a sort of, I'm thinking more of a Pisces way than a, like a Sagittarius way you're very open and whatever you are whatever you are showing is what you are you don't try and hide that much and they will see you as that, which is quite attractive, which is very attractive. Exciting and open and almost in a sweet way. In a sweet sort of, I'm trying to think of the way, I'm thinking of Pisces when I'm saying this. Somebody, uh, uh, a term I heard ages ago, who hasn't got corners, is that the, yeah, I can't remember, something like that, somebody doesn't have edges, <laughs> that might be the one, I don't know, I can't remember. Okay, career-wise, or the way that you might earn your, mon your money or your every day-to-day -day sort of living is could be something to do, um, something you've just started, could be something to do with um, communicating, you could be um, in university, you could be in college, you could be studying, you could be writing, you could be just one of those people who um, have something to say. You could be, so you could work in any area, especially something where the information is new, where you're making a slight, a slight an impact on people by what you're saying, what you're writing, what you're doing. 
<clears throat> your speech again you wouldn't mince your words you'll be very and when i say direct i don't mean direct as in rude but you basically say it and it makes sense and once you've finished you've finished and people pay attention to it so that might be part of your career or, or what you intend to do if, if you're if you're studying at the moment which you possibly could be studying but it could be something new it's like the beginning of something if you've just started a new job or you've just started um university or college or just any new situation where you are communicating a lot and that's part of your job you could be on the phone a lot you could be um i don't know just in any way communicating So your position in life, this is like a bit of a vague one, which was hope, uh, hoping was going to happen with this one. And to be honest, this just says to me that at the moment you you have had to stop and you are just waiting and looking. There's nothing you can do much at the moment apart from you're just waiting for your next move. I get the general feeling that you have started something off and had to stop, which I think is you know, it's quite common for everybody and you are just looking out waiting for something to come back so you can get started again as if you've started something and you're waiting for that to come back you've got something in your hands at the moment that you've started but you've almost got to wait for something to um, finish something to start again so that you can start start getting um, your life moving again and that's how they will see you vulnerable great communicator starting something fresh but at the moment you've just sort of stopped i don't know if these are linked this might give me a link um later on with the eight of cups i don't know if it's if things have stopped between the, you two because of um somebody moving away um are they nervous around you <coughs> This is quite a difficult one to say because to me, no, they're not nervous at all around you. They're dead still. They haven't got that nervous energy. Um, I I'm wondering whether they haven't been around you as yet. So this could be this communication. This could be something online with somebody. And so there's not that same sort of nervous energy, perhaps if you're face to face that you might have if you're face to face. So no, I wouldn't say they're nervous around you at all. Either they're very, very calm or they haven't had that much time around you to start feeling nervous or they're just very, very stable. So no, I would definitely say they're not nervous around you. Are they interested in you? Yes, they enjoy communicating with you. They are dis. I have a feeling that they're not with you at the moment. They're distant from you because this person here is on the top of the, the hill. He's looking down and he's thinking about everything. They like to communicate. I can see this in you, and they like to communicate with you. But I don't think that you two are together at the moment. To me, this seems like an end of a situation. I know that's nervous, but that man doesn't look like he's ever ever been nervous. No, it's as if the something's stilted here something's moved away there's a lot of anxiety there's a lot there's something happened where this person feels anxious or trapped they can't be nervous around you for some other reason and they're just hoping that that ends. And I'm, I don't know the reason. How they perceive you, communicate it open, new beginnings and waiting for something. Are they nervous around you? No. But for a, that's a drastic hug, such a simple question. And are they interested in you? Yes, because they like to communicate. So you two are communicating, but it's as if you're not together. And they don't like that. Feels like they can't do anything around about it and they want to... They're hoping that's going to change. What's going to happen next? Not much. The situation probably 
it was feels like you're ending on a really horrible note but i don't think that this situation that you have at the moment has the possibility of changing for the time being i feel it's going to stay the same for a while i don't know the reason why it seems to me as if you are separate and there's nothing you could do to bring it together at the moment but advice I would say to be mature, to think clearly, to be calm and relaxed and just basically hold back for the moment, to ex basically to accept this, to accept the fact there's not much you can do at the moment. There's not much you can do at the moment. This person wants more from you, but they are tired. They can't do anything about it. They aren't with you. They can't be with you, although they see you as somebody fun and quite sweet and open and loving. And they can see that you've, you're, you might be communicating with them, but in some way that you're communicating. Okay, that's quite interesting. Could you let me know in the comments if any of that rings true? Well, thank you. Yeah. Sea lion number three. I'll just give these a bit of a shuffle first. Just gonna check that it's on. you this is how they perceive you so these this might not be who you are but just how they see you at this moment and they change as well so physically how they see you emotionally how they see you so these two are basically your position in life like your job and career so that becomes a bit clear as you go on um are they nervous around you which isn't so much how they see you but it gives you an idea of the impact you, you have on them are they interested in you and what will happen next? Okay. Right. At the moment, there's something about you or something about your situation that is causing you a lot of anxiety. This isn't how they see you, this is just you. There's something that's upsetting you that is keeping you um, awake at night and causing a lot of anxiety. It's the type of feeling when you go to bed, you go to sleep, and then probably in the middle of the morning, so early in the morning, you're waking up and the first thing that's on your mind is this situation, and then you don't go back to sleep again. And it feels quite dark, and it feels like one of those times when you're a bit stuck in something that goes round and round your head. Okay. Um, What do you look like physically? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Um, what you? <laughs> what do you look like physically? My first thoughts are here. No, you don't look like that. That you're somebody who's quite tall quite self-contained <laughs> um, physically see, it's very it's easier to attribute things here which you are as a personality but physically okay I'm gonna go with one of these people who have got longer faces than not than average person that are quite statuesque that are um, longer backs perhaps a slim long back and um, somebody who's quite regal but in a s small featured type of way i'm trying to think of somebody famous who 
I'm thinking a bit of a a Michael Fassbender sort of look that is slim and small featured with a big mouth not a big mouth but somebody Audrey Hepburn that's who I was thinking of no is it Audrey Hepburn not the one with the big eyes I can't remember anyway anyway anything is better than saying you look like you've got a beard unless you are a man um, I'm thinking Aquarius when I see this Aquarius are normally quite um, self-contained, self quite keep themselves to themselves um, in a Hiddleston, that's who I'm thinking of, Tom Hiddleston. He's quite small featured. There's nothing particular that sticks out about him, but he's got something about him. The type of person that is attractive in a reserved manner somebody who has got that there's something about them because i know that he can dance well um and that's what they will find attractive about you there is you're quite self-contained quite statuesque and you've got that certain something about you something quite magnetic something quite electric okay emotionally they will say that you have it spot on emotionally you are a big personality you give a lot you have an open heart and when people come into a room or when they come into the room they you make them feel loved you make them feel welcome it's quite leery i know it's not under your car but that's the type of feeling that you get from this person so you might appear one way but when somebody's talking to you or you make them feel as if they're the only person in the room or you make this person feel as if they are the only person in the room. It's, this, is, this combination together is very magnetic. So you're physically magnetic, intriguing and emotionally you are very... I can't think of the word. I'm thinking magnetic again. There's a pull. There's a pull there when you're with somebody who is like this and you, people just want to be around you. And this person would, would, would know, has noticed that. And, would, and it's the type of thing that you like to bask in. You know, when you're with somebody at a party or you're with somebody, even in your family, like your uncle or your auntie, and, and kids like to be around this person. Um, people just gather around them and they don't feel like they, have, they can be who they want to be. And they're just accepted. Very loving, very open. As a career, you might do something that's quite, that you might work on your own, you might work with money, you might work in a bank, you might work with people who, I'm gonna say who make money, but most people go to work to make money, but you, it might be quite obvious that you're on that, that edge of, uh, that line of it, rather than, I'm trying to say, um, you know, like, looking after animals or something, I made that up. Um, you might do something that in some way has to you have to work on your own but you've got some level of control how things work and this is, this might be a bit vague something quite calm you could work in an office but you could be just collecting things getting things together but something quite practical and the main thing I'm getting from this is something where you are um, calm in charge you may even not work at all you may just enjoy being in your own home or you may work from home you might be oh, these two go together you might be in a situation where you're not working at all at the moment because you can't work at the moment because everything has stopped this is why you might be feeling like this i mean that's i know this is quite general at the moment but you might be anxious or up at night or worrying because of work because things have come to an end or come to an end as in you've basically you've had to stop I'm not saying it's not going to pick up again but it's something that maybe not be moving or when you're on you've been pushed out uh, 
feel silly on saying this because I'm realising after I've said it, where you've been pushed out of work, which so many people have at the moment, and you're at home. Yeah, I know, it's obvious. But those two cards, isolation on your own, but happy with it, things not moving, and then there's this, this is like an ang anxious card, an anxiety card where you're worrying. Okay. Oh, they're nervous around you. This can be taken two ways. Either they're so nervous that they're bolting and they just can't sit still, or they're so feisty and sure of themselves, they're not nervous at all. I think you probably will know the answer to that more than I will. Either they're so nervous that they can't sit still and they're basically running for the door, or they're running in from outside because they want to be with you. It will depend on their personality. If they're quite shy, it might be the former. If they're not shy, it will be the latter. But either way, there'll be quite a lot of movement going, going on in one direction. Let's have a little look at that one. They are happy to see you. They are content with you. I have a feeling they're coming inwards rather than escaping. There's like a happiness and a comfort and a familiarity, it's like a celebration, like they just, you know, everything's finished, they enjoy being with you and it's childlike and they're open. They are probably reflecting you here. So your open energy is either you two are very, very similar, similar even, you two are very similar and you can see that in each other. He or she, who is you're asking about, who's how they perceive you is, Full on, in a nice way, open and feisty and childlike and giving and you are more reserved and open and giving and those two things work really well together. Are they interested in you? See, I get from these cards here that you two are very similar and yes, they're interested in you, but they can't accept what you are offering. They know that you like them. Or there's something that you've offered them or some situation where they've had to refuse. And it's upsetting them. It's making them feel as if that hold, if they said no, that it's weighing really heavy on them and they're feeling, it's just not feeling right. It's feeling very, I'm trying to think of a different word from weighing heavy on them. And they're feeling very defensive about it, as in they didn't want to do it. They've had to say no to a situation or some sort of situation. They've had to block, and it's not making them feel good because naturally they're not that type of person. But they've had they 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 may have hurt your feelings, and they know it. It's not because the attraction is not there. It's just because they've had to they've had to stop the situation for some reason. There's something they can't do. Or they can't, the situation at the moment, if you're upset about it, it could be because they've not accepted the situation or because, you know, it seems like you're both feeling the same little bit here. They, they've got too much on their plate, too much going on in their life, that they can't move forward with you. It's like both very open natures but with something that's blocked you, it's as if something stops and it's causing him or her, the other person you're, that we're, this is about you, but it's the other person who you're inquiring about as well, um, to feel as if they've cut you off and they're not feeling good about it. It's making them feel bogged down and you're just feeling as if it's caused you upset too. Okay, what are they going to do about it? Or what will happen next? Either you or him 
or you or her. Whoever's the more masculine one in this relationship is the one that will probably take the reins to see what's going to happen next. Somebody, whatever's happened between you two, whatever's caused that sort of blockage or whether you're separated, I don't think they're separated for you, I mean you may be, but there's something that's blocked you or stopped the pair of you. And the more assertive, the more masculine one that's going to change the situation, it's going to do, do something. Yeah, it, it's this person, it's the person who, not you is going to start the situation again they're going to start something fresh going to start trying to start again move things around what has ever blocked you in the past to start back so you can get that feeling together that open feeling of being together again or at least being connected again okay well, i'm not going to ask for advice for that because i think that sums it up quite nicely so I don't know if it's male or female who's inquiring about this. So whoever the reading is, I know it's for you, but it's how they perceive you. But the one who is the more masculine energy, who's the one who's more assertive, who's more in control, who likes to have control is the one that's going to change the situation, who's going to make the next move. Hopefully it's going to change things around, move situation around so that they can get back to this energy again where you're both quite open. It seems to me that you've had good times. I don't know why I'm shuffling this. I'm not going to do any more because I don't think you need it. And you've had good times, which you are holding on to because it felt so good. <laughs> but um, something has come to an end. You could just be, you, you, I don't know what it is. You could just be separate because of the way things are at the moment. And he's, he or she is feeling. taking it quite hard and almost a bit defensive about it which if, if it's this personality it seems very it seems very possible that they when situations don't work their way work out their way this type of personality can almost blame the other person if it's nothing to do with them because they just don't seem to sort it out in their head it's just frustration to them it feels heavy and that frust frustrated feeling tends to get blamed and you you'd be like I've no idea what I've done wrong But I think in the end, that person will make a move towards you, start something new, try and sort things out and get back to their old self, which hopefully is has matured a bit through for the situation that you may have been through. And so they can deal with things a bit better rather than just being, where's he gone? Rather than continuing like this figure here this person's warmer more mature well mature this person's mature but in a more conventional way more structured harder this person's warmer okay right i hope that helps if it does can you comment in the comment section and like and subscribe thank you very much